Today's travel look, Gucci loafers, fishnet socks, these leggings, a sweater, a hat, and the baby Fendi. Ready for Chicago. On the way to the airport, um, why are so many people on the road this early? 7.30, shouldn't you be asleep or something? I guess people with real jobs are on their way to work. This is really annoying. I only fly JetBlue. That whole situation was a shit show. Made it to Chicago, and I even landed a few minutes early, so I'm just waiting for my Uber, and then I have to rush to the hotel, get dressed, make sure I have all my stuff, so then I'm getting on stage for my outnet presentation made it to my room. It is nice in here. Big fan of the Soho House Chicago. Um, I have less than two hours to get dressed and ready for this event. Here's my room. It is really cool looking, I have to say. The nice man at Soho House gave me a really nice tour. Here's the bathroom. Let's look at this here shower. <laughs> Fancy. And then look at all these products. Look at this. All these here. All of these here. Too bad I'm only staying for one night. This is a night. Ooh, a robe. See, a hotel is only a hotel if it has a robe. If it doesn't have a robe, it ain't a hotel in my eyes. And then here, all my stuff's everywhere. Nice little TV, nice little bar area. We'll be needing these. My printouts, I'm waiting for the rest of them to come. And then this thing is like packed with goodies as well. All sorts of stuff. I like it here. It's very nice. Accessory game, on point. Will these go with my mystery outfit? I don't know. That's why I brought it back up. Okay, it's so dark that you can't really see it, but this jumpsuit is the outfit that I was supposed to wear tonight, and it is too big. I'm freaking swimming in it, which sucks because if it was tailored, it would be so cute. As much as I love this hotel, it is so dark in here. The lighting is terrible. Another hotel designed by a man, my assumption. I'm getting dressed by the light of my iPhone flashlight. You know what? I'm not even gonna blame men on this hotel lighting. I'm gonna blame hipsters. This is some hipster shit right here. Yeah, everything looks cool in the daylight, but when it, the sun goes down, then what do we do? Hipsters. I know you probably think I'm just super dramatic, but I actually had to go in the hallway to check my makeup because it's so dark in my room. Real talk. Okay, lucky for me, the whole event is really dark, but I'm here early and I'm gonna show you around what it looks like. God, why does this place insist upon being so dark? Um, you probably can't see anything, because neither can I, but here's some of the clothes. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a yes. That's a wrap on the old event. Um, it was fun. I got to meet a bunch of people that were really cool. Love the Chicago peeps. 
did my talk. Um, I had to compete with a very loud background noise situation. It's all good. Sometimes your environment just, they just don't have your back. The environment's like, mm, what you gonna do? Um, but it's cool. I got this necklace on and that's really all that matters because it's freaking fabulous. What have I done? I was doing so good with my juicing and my model meals, but I haven't had any food all day and I'm in Chicago. So of course they brought me extra cookies, really. And a giant burger. Fat kid. I think my whole juicing and model meals shebang is working because I started to eat this food and I was like, I don't even want this food. I don't even want it. I had like one bite of the cookie. I usually would eat them all. I wish that I could have gotten last night's Outnet event on camera, but I didn't have anyone to tape it for me and it was really dark, but the event went well. Um, it was a little bit challenging as, you know, someone who does public speaking pretty frequently. Um, I had like a full like club behind me, music blasting. Um, the microphone wasn't cordless, so I had to be really far away from the audience. So it made it a little bit difficult to like engage with people. So just as a perfectionist who's like a little self-critical on herself, I didn't feel like I did the best that I could. Um, I did the best that I could, but I feel like I didn't deliver what I wanted to deliver. If the circumstances were a little bit different, I feel like I would have felt better about it. But sometimes you just can't control what happens. So I did the best I could with what I had. Um, people seemed really happy with the event. Basically, I gave a couple lessons. I did a lesson on creating a functional wardrobe. I did a lesson on creating outfits. And then I went through some top trends for holiday. And then I stuck around and worked with the guests to help style them and just chit chat and get to know them. Everyone from Chicago is so cool. People had really awesome outfits on and it was cool. I'm like, what do you do for a living? Like, oh, I work in finance, or I work in healthcare, or I'm a consultant, but I love fashion. It's like my little secret outlet for creativity. And it was just really cool to just be around that energy and those people. So, you know, at the end of the day, it was totally fine. It was exactly how it was supposed to be. So I extended my trip a little bit because I'm going to go shopping at Luxury Garage Sale, which is one of my favorite places to shop. I talk about it all the time. So I'm gonna go see my friends there and hopefully not spend too much money. Just as a side note, I'm rocking my new Stella McCartney cardigan, which I love, got it from the Outnet, but I had planned it with my green hat, which really like made all the colors pop but I didn't have room in my suitcase for my green hat, so I'm rocking this one. Oh boy, we are here. Ooh, I'm inside the store. This is the happiest place on earth. Look at all the bags. Oh, Birkin, Chanel, beautifulness. Look at this. This place is just so good. I wish that it's so cute. It's Goodness. Mm -mm. Not my size. Myself into trouble. Oh look, another Fendi bag. I hung my little tiny Fendi on it. I really like this bag. It's just silver and not gold. Can I do it anyways? It's so sick. This dress is 100% happening. Look at the sleeves. Look at how awesome it is. Happening. Who am I? Look at this cuteness. Look at these shoes. Do I need this? No. Do I want this? Yes. <laughs> I'm with Diana, my drug dealer, aka my luxury garage door stylist. We're going to the other location to see what other stuff I can spend all my money on. 
necklace? Two Mr. T or just the right Mr. T? Bought the dress with the white sleeves, the Alexander McQueen coat dress, the Valentino shoes, and a Chanel necklace. Happy birthday to me. My birthday's tomorrow, so I figured YOLO.